I've gotten the stream deck. And I also have the other one currently too. I want to test both of them at the same time. And then I'm going to return whichever one I like the least. Let's get this plugged in. Hopefully it's an easier setup than the other one. The other one took me about four hours. Let's see how long it takes for me to set up the stream deck. Yeah, it's already working. <laughs> Let me just show you real quick. Okay, so I'm on my main screen now. So here's my, my Chrome tab. That's the Chrome button. Just opens up Chrome, bro. Show desktop. Shows the desktop. Something tells me this is going to be a little bit easier. And it's plugged into a random USB port. The other one I had to mess around with the USB ports for like legit 20 minutes. This one is plugged into a random USB port. I can send the emojis. There's tutorials on it. Actions. Like, look at that. That's a nice screen, bro. I do miss the sidebar. That should be something I've got to look to implement in the next version. There should really should be a sidebar. It's really nice. It's having a sidebar there with all the information. Oh, well, just some basic information there. It's nice. Because, like, if I, wanted, if I wanted to do it on the Elgato, I would have to basically implement another screen or I would have to waste a few screens on the side here to get the time working the, again the cell phone is good it's good but it's just the integration with YouTube and such it didn't do it for me so I wanted to try this one and see if it, this was any better obviously if this wasn't I would return it considering it's literally double the price I bought the cell phone for 80 this bought one for like 130 but I ended up paying like 150 because I was shipping and such I'm gonna I'm gonna try and set it up and I'm going to try and replicate what I have on the other one. And I'll get back to you and see how long that takes. Okay, so here is the side by side of, this, of the software for each of them. So on the left is the Stream Deck software. And on the right is the SoFoam software. So as you can see here, the the two time things on the actual on the SoFoam one isn't working. The time of the weather even though it was set originally it's just stopped working yeah, i'm not sure why also another thing that i was trying to do is on the el gato i have i have a folder called youtube music where i can connect it up to my youtube music and i can play like youtube music from there which is really useful when you're streaming so i don't have to actually alt tab out of fortnite or whatever but on the soul foam i can't set that up i'm not sure why on the basically anything you you're trying to integrate with another app it's a lot easier on the el gato than the cell phone. For example, connecting to YouTube, it doesn't even work for me on the cell phone because it just says it's not safe enough. Basically, it's like can't connect up to YouTube because it's not safe enough. I can still live stream to it, but that's that's just because I do it through OBS. But I can't make a direct connection to my, my to my YouTube account from the cell phone device because it says it's not safe enough. Like head to head, like I'll show you the plugins here. I like the fact that it's connected up to the SoFoam app itself but and it's not a separate website but like as you can see there's also options here um but to me the most useful ones because i do live streaming it would be the youtube connection which i can't actually do but again if you're an audio creator or something or, or you're, just, you're just using a device with extra keys on it because like you have a smaller keyboard or something the SoFoam is perfect for that but for me, who like <laughs> who I need the YouTube connection, and I just need like integration with other stuff that currently isn't supported on the cell phone. Um, and also need the software to be a bit reliable. Um, because I don't have that much time when I get home, so I need it to work instantly. Yeah, so so that's why I I'm I'm leaning towards the Stream Deck, and I, I'm gonna return to cell phone. Just I'm having some software issues that I don't have on the on the Elgato, and also the Elgato is like. There's a lot more tutorials on how to do stuff on it than the SoFo. I believe that SoFo does have potential too. And as you can see, like there's loads, loads of apps on on it there. Like there's GitHub, there's Unity up there. But it's like currently all I want is the YouTube integration, which works perfectly on Elgato, but doesn't work on the SoFo app. Now let me just pull up the Elgato store there, just so you can guys have a look. Yeah, as you can see, it's loads of. It's also loads and loads and loads of. Uh, options there and the Elgato one for example I'm looking for a CapCut one you can just search it there there's also a search bar at the top of the other one but so you can just you, you search there and there's a profile that, that you can just buy and you can install it onto your Elgato or onto your stream deck that would then make this like allow you to just set up these profiles and have them set up just for CapCut so like they both have the same features but the Elgato the fact that it's a bit more expensive and the fact that it has onboard memory me that's kind of makes it a better device overall 
but I have to say if if there was or if Elgato ever did the one that had the time on the side like like this does where it's just like it's just it's just a column that isn't even buttons it's just to display information basically an information column I would I would probably upgrade to that one but for now since there's not an option with that information column I'm gonna stick with my stream deck yeah I'd really like the cell phone device I think it has the right idea but they just need to get the basically they, they just need to get the software to match the quality of the actual hardware because I like it but it's just the software isn't reliable enough and like why are why is my weather and my time not working anymore like yeah to be honest, I, even, I don't even mind the speed difference like we can even show you the speed difference here look okay guys I'm just gonna show you the speed difference between the cell phone and the stream deck this the stream deck I'm pretty sure it's all based on the memory so it 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 has its own memory and it has the programs or like the it has the profile saved onto this onto the stream deck the cell phone is software based so it takes a bit longer to load i'm just going to try to go into a folder and just show you how long it takes like on each of them as you've seen the stream the stream deck is instant now, now let's try it back out see it takes it takes like a few seconds or it takes like one or two seconds on Probably not seconds. It takes like half a millisecond on the cell phone to actually act. Um, meanwhile, on the stream deck, it's instant. You just click on it and it just goes. So that's a big difference. Uh, it doesn't, to be honest, the speed isn't that crazy. So it wouldn't make, like, it wouldn't be the life-changing difference. Or like, it wouldn't be the defining factor of it. But it, there is a speed difference in it. If you're, like, streaming and you want to, inst like, throw on a uh, sound effect really quick. The so far would take longer to do so. If you can see here, my I used to have the weather here and I used to have the time here on the sofa. That has now stopped working. I had the time on the stream deck and it's working fine. I'm not sure why that stopped working, but it may require a reset of the actual like device itself, which I'm not gonna bother doing. It was a fun experience, and if I didn't have if I didn't have an option of the stream deck and I was running low on money, I would be happy enough with with sofa for a while or for like few years to be honest because it has everything that you need like usually apart from the youtube integration say this was like a year ago when you couldn't stream to youtube and the, or your only option was streaming to twitch this would be a perfect device so if you're not doing multi-streaming and you only stream to twitch or even if you all you need is a is a scene switcher or you need to play sound effects the soul foam is really good at that to be honest it's not a bad device it's a pretty good device for half the price and like it's 85% of the way there. It's only that last 15% that's making me decide to take the Elgato. Even though it costs double the price. So if you guys are looking for something like all you need is a, sw a, a scene switcher. You want a bit of information on the side that hopefully should work for you and shouldn't break like my one did. And you just need to record live and record a, a live and an end recording button. An audio mute button. I would go with this. This is pretty good. I, I, I enjoyed using this for the few days that I used it. The Elgato is better. It's quicker. But this is good too. To be honest. Yeah. So I'm about, I'm, I'm going to pack this away. I'm going to send it back to Amazon. Hopefully get my refund back. Thank you guys for watching.